and then we imp uh, we imported the data from so I so my data was initially in my laptop in a local folder I have now imported it okay uh, so this is the path of the folder where the data is there and then I've just imported from there and and here you see the right you want to see the entire set you know you can just spin mortgage but if you want to use head you know you, you see only the top five right and so first thing we'll do is that we will try to plot it actually right for the entire 50 years how does the mortgage rate look like okay simple again we are using a plot with a title of okay mortgage you can give any title rate for example mortgage rate for the last uh, 50 years you know you can use any light and then you have plt dot plot plt means your uh, mat plot leaf okay so you're using mat plot leaf here mat plot dot ply plot as plt that means from here onwards we're not going to use mat plot leaf dot ply plot rather we'll use plt it's a short form right well, that's the industry standard of using short form so you know you can also use it okay i'll we'll run it and here you go you see the movement of the mortgage rate from 1971 until 2022 and what is interesting is that for much of the 70s or 80s and 90s the mortgage rate was well above the six percent well above the six percent so compared to what it used to be uh, in the past you know we don't have we were not in a period where we see a very high mortgage rate because the mortgage rate was quite quite low actually in the last decade or so um, we feel that okay it has increased it it increased quite dramatically but that's not the case actually uh, it was to be even higher much higher in fact i think in the 80s it was to be uh, around 18 percent imagine you have to pay 18 percent uh uh mortgage rate uh, on your mortgage i think that's insane that's like three times uh than what we have currently which is about six percent so that that was that is perhaps the worst case scenario in the last 50 years 18 percent uh, was the mortgage rate sometime in the early 1980 but not just in 1980 where we said 18 percent if you see in 70s also it was about eight percent in 90s also it was above or around eight percent in 2000 and 2010 it was still about six and a half percent on average you see here it was six and a half percent um and in 2007 and 8 there was a subprime crisis but you still see that in 2008 7 and 8 you know the mortgage rate was still around six six and a half percent not more than that so the, the housing crisis uh, oh sorry the financial crisis did not quite affect the mortgage rate in the us okay just to be clear this is just us data i'm not uh, talking about uh, data for other countries it's just the us mortgage data um so yeah in other countries it might have had a different uh, different kind of impact but not in the us you see financial crisis didn't have much impact on the mortgage rate and then it gradually actually decreased to about 4% until, you know, recently 2020, you know, during the pandemic year, right? 4% or even 3.5%, that kind of uh, mortgage rate was there in, in, in that, you know, in period. But it was gradually coming down, you know, from having 18% uh, mortgage rate in 1980s to just 4% in 2020, right? You see a downward slope here. You see a downward slope here so that that's the story here people are complaining about it but they do not know actually what used to be the mortgage rate in the past and that's why you know some of the economists are saying on average historically if you look at you know 100 years even more than that in the u.s mortgage uh, history the average mortgage it has been seven and a half percent so we 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 still aren't near to the average mortgage rate uh, right so it's still it's still on the lower side anyway we will uh, then plot a rolling mean uh, okay now for rolling mean is it's nothing but okay taking uh, certain number of observations to 
create to calculate average and then using a plot right so this is just uh, plotting every each and every individual observations right this is weekly read by the way right if you average it for month a quarter then it will look like a bit different right so the the visual plot will look different if you change the frequency of the data right there are many ways you can do that you can first calculate the mean or average and then do a simple plot like we have done or what you can do is that you can roll it uh, you, you, and then plot it right it will look very similar but rolling is in the rolling is like be different that means the same observations will be uh, used in multiple uh, data points right because it's rolling right it's more like moving average right your average your averaging observations uh, for certain number of periods but uh, but it's moving that means uh, each observation may be counted multiple times in the average calculations. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to get into the details of what is a rolling average, but you can, you know, you can read more about it on your Wikipedia also. There's a simple explanation of that. So, here I've used the 12 uh, period uh, rolling average. Okay. And so, you see the black spots actually. Um, Okay, so the, no, not the black spot. I think the blue one is the rolling mean. So the blue one is the rolling mean, and the black one is just the thirty, you know, the original data, which is the you know the weekly data, right? So twelve um, weeks, you know, each twelve weeks is averaged out to one. So here you see it's a bit smoother version of it, actually, right? You see here it's it's. Uh, less smooth but here it's you know you can also change it to let's say you know 120 also that should be fine let's see that how does it look like okay um even 120 is fine i think 120 but i think we can also take a 60 maybe okay you can change it and see how it looks like different Okay, but we can also plot uh, the histogram, right? Uh, it's a different way of visualizing the same data. You know, it's uh, I mean the the reason why we're doing it the same, but it's just that it gives a different type of picture, so you probably can make uh, something different out of it. Okay. So just see that uh, like it, it 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 shows the frequency like right? how many times the interest rate mortgage rate was four percent how many times for six percent eight percent ten percent eighteen percent eighteen percent or above ten percent you know see you see that it, it the the bars are very low that means only very few years in the last fifty sixty years when we saw a mortgage rate above ten percent. So you see the bars here for 10 percent, 12 percent, 14 percent, 16 percent, 18 percent. You know that's you know that's this quite low. But it, it, but it has happened. Higher interest mortgage rate above uh, 10 percent. Uh, you know was there in 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 the history. But most of the times the mortgage rate is between uh, was between six to 10 percent. You see here. 6% uh, and 8%, 10%, right? You, the bars are the highest one, right? So mortgage it uh, has always been between 6 to 10%, uh, mostly, uh, and in, in few occasions, uh, more than 10%. But also quite in quite some uh, periods, the mortgage it uh, was between 2.5% to 6%. Interesting, when was it when the mortgage rate was 2 to 2.5%? Uh, also interesting to know but yeah there there were times when mortgage rate was about uh, maybe three and three and a half percent maybe in 2019 also it was three and a half percent if i'm not wrong right uh, 